Hey, aren't you tired of those dull drill bits that won't drill through a sheet of paper? Well, let's learn how to sharpen those drill bits with the Drill Doctor. Stick around, I'll see you right after this. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're a professional tradesman or an occasional DIYer. You're gonna need to have your drill bits sharp in order to be efficient and productive on whatever project you're working on. Now I did do a video on how to sharpen your drill bits without the aid of any machine or device other than a grinder and me holding the drill bit with my hands. Today though, we're gonna talk about a drill sharpening device called the Drill Doctor that makes sharpening your drill bits much easier and more precise. Now this drill bit sharpener is designed to sharpen twist style drill bits from 3 30 seconds of an inch to half an inch like this guy right here. And if you get certain accessories, you can sharpen up to three quarters of an inch. Quick caution though, it's only meant for indoor use and it's great for light duty sharpening in your garage or in your small shop. And it's only meant for sharpening drill bits, not chisels or screwdrivers or anything like that. This is not an industrial tool. It's not meant for commercial purposes. You guys get the picture. So before we dive into how this contraption works, and I say that with the utmost respect, let's get familiar with the parts and pieces. This is the chuck. It holds the drill bit in the device while you're sharpening. And here are the chuck jaws. So if I twist it like that, the jaws open. If I twist it clockwise, the jaws close or tighten onto your drill bit. It's corded, it's not battery operated. It has an on and off switch right here. This area right here is the alignment port. This is where you place the chuck and the drill bit to make sure that it's aligned properly before you sharpen it. This is the sharpening port. So after you finish aligning it here in the alignment port, you take it out and you place it here. And it's very interesting how this works. You'll see in a second. This right here is the grit tube. It's kind of like a filter for the metal grit that flies off the drill bit while it's being sharpened. And this goes right here. Now, if you look inside this transparent area, you'll see a cylindrical structure. That's a diamond sharpening wheel. That's where the drill bit is sharpened, on that wheel right there. You can access the wheel by simply sliding off this cover here like that to do maintenance, change the wheel out, or just to dump out the metal shavings. And if you look down the sharpening port and you see that gold colored surface, that's the wheel. Now there's three kinds of drill bits out there. You got standard point drill bits. That's the general drill bits. Their angle is about 118 degrees. That means this angle here is about 118 degrees. Standard 118 degree drill bit tips are usually used for softer materials like coal roll steel, aluminum, and wood. Then you got split point drill bit tips. Okay, so just to give you a better comparison between a split point drill tip and a 118 degree drill tip, just take a look at the picture right here. On the left, just like it says underneath, you have a 135 degree split point tip, and on the right, you have a 118 degree drill tip. Other than what it says underneath, can you see the difference between the two? Well, on the split point tip, it's pretty obvious. You can see that the tip of it is split, but it creates four edges. You have one cutting edge here, you have one there, you have one cutting edge here, and you have one cutting edge there. The chisel edge has four cutting edges, which makes the split point tip much more efficient because it drills faster and it's self-centering. So the four cutting edges versus just two right here, this one and this one, makes it much more efficient than the 118 degree standard tip. And it's much better for harder materials like stainless steel and certain alloys. Then you got masonry bits. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that I open the chuck jaws all the way because we're gonna put our 118 degree drill bit inside of it, okay? Turn it all the way anti-clockwise. Then we're gonna put it in like that. And we're gonna leave about an inch stick out, okay? About an inch stick out. That's about two fingers or so. And we're gonna tighten it up. And we don't want to make it too tight at this point. Then we want to insert it into the alignment port. Now you got a button right here that's called the alignment button. When you press it down, you're going to see the bit clamp arms open up. So there's a clamp in there and you're going to see that open up when I press it down. See that? 
Now, before we go any further, you have to align the chuck correctly. And that's done by aligning these fins right here. These right here are called alignment guides. Here's one here and here's one here. You have to match these guides with a 118 degree notch, which is right here on the alignment port. So when you place it in, this has to align with that, like this. You see the 118 degree mark and you see the alignment guide. Those have to line up. And once you have those lined up, you can push the chuck all the way in until the tip of the drill bit touches that surface called the drill stop. Now remember, we didn't tighten the chuck all the way onto the bit, and that was for a reason. When we push the chuck all the way into the alignment port like this, the drill bit will slide a little bit, and that locks in the proper distance that we need when we put it into the sharpening port. Now we can release the button, allowing the bit clamps to clamp onto the bit. But you have to make sure that the clamps are clamped onto the narrowest part of the drill bit, and those are called the flutes. If you look at a drill bit here, you see these slots as it spirals around the drill bit. The slotted areas are called the flutes, and that's the narrowest part of the drill bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our drill bit or spin our drill bit until the clamps lock onto the flutes. Like that. This is a very important step before we go any further. Now we can tighten the chuck, but we don't wanna over tighten it. We're gonna press the alignment button to open the clamps and we're gonna remove the chuck and we're gonna give it one more tightening slightly and now we're ready to sharpen our drill bit. Okay guys, before we sharpen our drill bit, let's take a look at the chuck for a minute. If you noticed this shape right here, it's not a perfect circle. Why is that? Well, if you look at the sharpening port there's this pin right here, it's called a cam pin. And when you insert your chuck into this and you're rotating it as you're sharpening your drill bit, it's not gonna rotate in a perfect circle because the shape of the chuck is not a circle. It's more elliptical. That creates a camshaft type motion, like in a car, right? Not to mention the sharpening port has a little bit of give to it, which allows it to rock up and down as the chuck is rotated in it. you only need to apply very light pressure as you do this. We also want to align these white lines, these white marks right here, with the cam pin when we insert it. You have one here on this side and you have one on the other side. So we're gonna turn our sharpener on. And you wanna rotate it half a turn in a clockwise direction. Until the other white line, the other sharpening guide, comes around and lines up with the cam pin. You want to keep sharpening until you don't hear that grinding noise. That's when you know you're done. Okay, so that's our 118 degree bit that we just sharpened. Cutting edges are nice and smooth. No ridges. So now we're gonna sharpen our split point drill tip. So this split point tip is sharpened, but we're not quite done yet. So we're gonna keep the bit inside the chuck. And the next thing we're gonna do is remove the grit tube. Remember that piece that's like a filter that keeps the sparks and all the debris and grit at bay? We're gonna remove that. 
So remember, this area is the split point port. And I want you guys to take notice of that notch right there. That's the split point guide. We're gonna take our chuck and you see the sharpening guide, the white line right there? That's the sharpening guide. We're gonna line that up with the split point guide on the split point port. So that's that right there. And remember the alignment guides, the fins we talked about on the chuck right here, one here and one underneath right there. When we line up the white line, the sharpening guide to the split point guide, the alignment guides right here are gonna slide into the split point guide rails. You got one here and you got one on the other side right here, okay? So everything will be locked in. So this is how we're gonna create our split on our bit. So we're gonna insert the chuck into the split point port by aligning all the points I just described. Then we're gonna remove it, rotate it half a turn, and do it again, and then repeat. So it did split the tip. You have four edges now. You have one there like that. Then you have one here like this. And of course you have a cutting edge here and you have a cutting edge there. Okay, so what about masonry bits? Now the tip of a masonry bit is a carbide tip. And if you look at a masonry bit, you see that it's a straight angle. It kind of looks like an arrow a little bit. You want that straight edge, so to speak, to line up with these marks on the chuck. These are the masonry bit sharpening marks, okay? So you wanna line it up. So you slide your masonry bit in there and you make sure it's lined up. And you wanna make sure that the stick out is about half an inch to five eighths of an inch. You see how the carbide tip is going like that and it's lined up with the mark horizontally, just like that, or vertically. So once you got everything aligned, you wanna take your chuck and put it into the sharpening port and you wanna line up the sharpening guide with the cam pin, okay? That's the white line with this. And then push it all the way in until it stops. And you wanna tighten the chuck. Then remove it to make sure everything is still aligned. It is, and we can tighten it again. So when we're sharpening a masonry bit, we just wanna plunge it into the sharpening port. Do not rotate, just pull it out, rotate it when it's out, half a turn clockwise, plunge it in again, remove it, rotate it half a turn clockwise, and we're gonna do that four times. So each cutting edge will get sharpened twice in that four cycle rotation. And when sharpening any bit, it should always be an even number of rotations. So each cutting edge, which is usually an even number, two or four, gets sharpened evenly. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the basics on how you use a drill doctor or the drill doctor to sharpen your drill bits. If you appreciate this content, hit the like and subscribe. And if you appreciate the channel, go to the links below and see what we got for you there. See you next time.